come here, man, and I come talk about pull. Me can't pull pop, 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 pop. <laughs> You come like the annoying popcorn when you eat the popcorn and the little glass is something itching on your teeth. I saw you annoying me since now. Skadesh, what going all my viewers, all my subscribers? Bless up on yourself. Hope you all doing well. So right there, Queenie break silence after popcorn embarrasser at an event in the UK. So how it all started? We have that coming up in the vlog, so stay tuned. Yo, Reggae Media TV, badder than everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. Alright, before we get into that popcorn heat of the matter, Vibes Cartel break silence on his album the other day. Me never get to talk about it, but right now, me I talk about it because people still talking about the album, you know, whether criticizing it or giving the album props, despite the fact that the total units of consumption from sales and streaming in the United States from its first week of release is only 1,290. Yes, people, so Vibes Cartel, him addressed that the other day, and it's like Vibes Cartel, I say, for your artists, when you have no freedom, when you have no major label or anything like that, he did well. So Vibes Cartel took to Instagram, post the article after the album hit number 9 on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart with the caption, no major label, no promo, no video, no interview, no gift card, no freedom, yes, hashtag Gaza Nation, not bad. Out now, keep streaming. Yeah, people, so Vibes Cartel impressed with his album despite the circumstances. And a lot of people look into the situation that way. You can imagine if Vibes Cartel did out, if he was promoting his album, if he was on a major label. So, with Vibes Cartel really bringing across right here, the numbers would be far more better and him even point out all the factors no major label no promo no video no interview no gift card and one of the main thing no freedom yes because you know when people can't see you them can't see you at any shows you can't promote your album or anything like that that are one of the main thing that beating vibes cartel right now however He's working on it and him confident he might go come out. Okay, so moving on to the next topic as related to the video I show you guys earlier in this vlog. Queenie, she at the show. Ray and Nevi UK. Popcorn was at the show. She walking up to Popcorn with her camera, but Popcorn wasn't having it at all. Hey man, are you here? So since the video came out, a lot of people been bashing Popcorn right here saying that he should expect fans to walk up and at least take a pic with him. However, on the other hand, some people are saying that Queenie is wrong for pulling popcorn into the video and she also denied that, saying that she never pulled popcorn actually. So Queenie took to IG and caption right here saying, after you know more than me, F off. You know the advantage me having a life? Me say girl power, me say power. Me artist, me a queen, me a wife, me the hosting, me the counseling, me the entertaining, me all purpose. I'm not disrespectful, me very jovial. So if you are somebody and you are well recognized and I am someone and I come to you and say, well, I go on St. Thomas, man, I come give me a clot attitude like me lick out your but me never lick out your it's a fucking rude. Man has carried through the world. It's just want people money and for stream for people say unruly. Move your clout. You disrespect the queen and I shall forever say it. And I don't care if you want to apologize for my vice, my vice. Can you see the vice our father God give me? Enough 
bad people eat ants and enough people eat eel. Take it as it come one day at a time, sweet Jesus. You are very rude. You don't live in England and you come here and I represent for a lot of things me stand up for. I'm going to come and I acknowledge you. You deny me when I come talk about me pull him. You big, tough, blood clad, picky, picky, one come here, man. When I come talk about pull. Me can't pull pop, 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 pop. <laughs> You come like the annoying popcorn when you eat the popcorn and the little glass is something itching on your teeth. I saw you annoying me since night. But you know what? God is good. God is great. Enough. You're too enough, Queen. But show me a girl. Oh, no, can't shame me. Well, so far, a lot of people are not approved of Popcorn's behavior in this video shunning off Queenie at Ray and Neville show in the UK. Well, people, guess what? The boss actually respond with this post right here on Instagram saying couple IG followers make them swear them a celebrity with some laughing emoji saying so sad <laughs> so it's like popcorn a laugh at Queenie right here as he make this post saying that Queenie she swear say she a celebrity because her couple IG followers well that's popcorn respond right there well popcorn need to address the matter a bit better because a lot of people are not approved of his behavior in that video people really want to know why popcorn shun off queenie like that well let's see if that gonna be the only response from popcorn because his main focus now is on his new collaboration with barry Saman called a mother's love the song sound good now nah, go lie Okay, so recording artist Big Pop asking for prayers as he is currently hospitalized. He took to IG, post up this video, and it's like the fans them concerned them really want to know what happened to him. Well, for now, we are not sure as he didn't mention in the video, but check this out right here. Privacy recovery from Big Pop, is it? Oh. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is Skilly Bang and TJ, the up top boss, working together. Well, people, a collaboration is on the way, and I know Skilly Bang fans, TJ fans are looking forward to this. It's like the fans were anticipating a collaboration from the two artists, they never really think of it yet, still. But come to think of it, them two artists here, yeah, why not, you know, working with each other because the two of them are going good in a dance hall, them not even in the game for a long while. But it's like the amount of fans with them gain from last year to now, we know say as long as this song sound good where them are going to release, the fans them are going to support it. A easy thing for them get a hit song right here so, because... The two of them career hot, you know, as long as it meet the criteria and everything. I see him where y'all remember when the crocodile teeth they just dropped. I review it like a week after and everything when I say, see it happen there early end of the year. Yeah, the song turned out to be one of the well the biggest hit song for Skilly Bang. Yeah, people. So you know that collaboration yeah, we definitely looking forward to it from Skilly Bang and TJ the up top boss and you know my love highlight when artists do collaboration and work with each other like this yes so you know we just have come through and I speak about it even before the song drop you see we are talking about it because we know what can go on right here so you know we know say a big hit song TJ and Skilly Ben can get out of this so not only when artists have feud and them things there we are highlight things like this right here when artists work with each other tj and the skilly bang i show them say yo we as artists we come into the business what do you we not have to clash or anything like that for bill we name we can do collaboration too although we know say clash thing is a part of the answer yeah but right here we just uh, endorse this movement before them even drop the song so bless up all of my viewers bless up all of my subscribers until next time, I'm out guidance and don't forget, if you don't subscribe to RMTV as yet, just hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. I'm out. Skadesh.